Hi guys, uh, this is Samir, this side your instructor. Today we'll talk about the Salesforce Marketing Cloud, the why, what, need, use cases for the Salesforce Marketing Cloud. I'll start with a small introduction about myself and then we will start with the today's agenda. I am Samir the side. I am having 17 years of experience. I've been handling and taking care of the global sales governance and I'm a cloud computing evangelist. I've handled the center of excellence, globalsalesforce.com CRM implementations across various business units. I'm a Salesforce certified administrator as well as a app builder professional. I've been handling uh, the administration and uh, business automation experiences for users across Europe, America, APAC, India in the domains of telecommunications, media, real estate and uh, IT, ITES vertical. So today we'll uh, talk about the Salesforce Marketing Cloud. We'll uh, have a brief overview about the Marketing Cloud first and then we will uh, also look at the various channels and the platforms which are offered as part of the marketing cloud offering so let's first understand the need for the marketing cloud right so as you are aware that salesforce offering to three, three clouds per se sales cloud service cloud and marketing cloud now they have merged the marketing cloud with sales cloud so there is a bit of a overlap between these two offerings so today a lot of information is lying out there in the social media Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, you have scattered conversations happening everywhere in the social media. So the data is actually stuck in silos and there is a constant struggle to find the ROI across multiple channels because this data is stuck in silos because we are having a lot of scattered conversations across different social media platforms. So you are not able to derive any information on which you can run analytics and take an informed decision. So the Salesforce Marketing Cloud what it does is it provides you a unified platform for all social programs and data. It builds and engages the audiences and turns insights into actions. So basically it helps you to run data analytics on the data which is there scattered across different social media and let you take an informed decision, right? It helps you to get business insights. So what are the benefits of the Salesforce Marketing Cloud? Why do we need to go for the Salesforce Marketing Cloud? What will the organization, the enterprise benefit at the end of the day from the Salesforce Marketing Cloud? So the first and foremost thing is that you can plan, you can personalize and optimize your customer journey. You can gain more information about your clients, their businesses, their insights, their behavior, the health of the business of your clients. You can map customer journeys across multiple channels, devices and customer lifestyle stages. Right. So as I said, we will also look at the different channels, the platforms. So you can map the customer journey across these different channels, devices, as well as customer lifecycle stages. You can nurture your customer as you move them forward in their journeys. So which basically means that you know the behavioral pattern, their buying pattern, their inclination, you know their nature, right? And you can nurture your customers as you move them forward in their respective journeys. You can analyze and assess the impact of every customer interaction to determine strengths and flaws in your processes. So you may interact with your customer by means of email or a phone call or any any other way. Right. So you can derive insights. You can analyze. You can assess the impact of every customer interaction that you are having. You can determine your strengths and flaws in your process. So these are some of the enterprises who are using the marketing cloud already. Aston Martin, Vodafone, Philips, Western Union, L'Oreal, American Express, Dunkin Brands, GE as well as Hershey's. So you can clearly see that it has been used across different verticals. So you have customers from the telecom vertical, you have customers from the FMCG, you have customers from the BFSI, you have customers from uh, FMCG industries all across. So it is not limited or restricted to a particular vertical. So let's understand what is Salesforce Marketing Cloud. So Salesforce Marketing Cloud, so basically it's a journey, right? It starts from different campaigns, right? We will look at the developer org and we'll also look at the different campaigns, the campaign hierarchy, 
right so basically it starts with the different campaigns that your marketing department would be running at any point of time so it they may be webinars they may be road shows they may be events out of these campaigns what you derive what you get at the end of the day is leads right and it is very important to nurture these leads because if you look at these leads are yet not a qualified opportunity but at the end of the day they are potential opportunities right so it actually starts all the way from the campaign and then to leads and if the lead is a genuine lead then you convert it into a opportunity a account and a contact so let me just log into the developer org here so this is the sales cloud right as you can see we have landed in the sales cloud on the top right hand corner right so in the sales cloud on the top horizontal ribbon these are some of the standard objects right so actually the sales cloud it starts from here it starts from accounts contacts opportunities forecasts contracts orders till here right and then cases solutions etc they form part of the service cloud right and this part here campaigns and leads is basically marketing but as i said there is a bit of a overlap between these clouds let's go to the marketing cloud okay there is a drop down just uh, click on the drop down and select marketing and it will take you to the marketing cloud so this is our marketing cloud so as you can see you get the standard uh, tabs of home chatter and then you have campaigns you have leads you have contacts opportunities reports dashboards quotes etc so basically this forms your marketing cloud so let's click on campaigns let's look at all the active campaigns that i have in my free developer org right so you can see there are four five uh, different campaigns you can clearly see the start date the end date the budgeted cost in the campaign and the actual cost incurred right and the type of campaign so you can see that some of them are in progress trade show some of them have been completed direct mailer webinar some of them are planned right let's open one of these campaigns and try to further drill down so basically this is a campaign campaign name is ashwamegh mission right and you can also view hierarchy wherein you can build campaign hierarchy so you can have a parent campaign you can have a child campaign you can also have a grandchild campaign right so you can align your uh, campaigns in a hierarchy you can have uh, different types of uh, campaigns you can have a webinar you can have trade show conference you can also measure the statuses of these campaigns the start date the end date you can also capture the expected revenue out of the campaign the budgeted cost the actual cost and the leads which you are able to generate at the end of the day from these campaigns and how many of those leads actually got converted into the campaign right how many contacts were you able to generate during the campaign how many responses how many opportunities got created how many of them you actually won for your business so it basically helps you to get a hang of the roi you may be running various campaigns in the enterprise but at the end of the day the campaign is only successful if you get a positive roi you can also add campaign members right you can add opportunities let's look at the leads let me open all the open leads which are there in my free developer org so these are some of the open leads so as you can see you can see the name of the contact the company that he or she represents the state province their contact details email id you can also see the lead status when was it created who was the owner let me open one of the leads here for abo insurance so if you see here this lead has been generated from the web right because the lead source clearly says that it is a web to lead which means that this customer miss cotton had visited the corporate website and she had showed some interest in some of the products and services which are being offered by the company and the lead has been pushed from the corporate website directly into the sfdc system which is also known as a web to lead 
So you can capture leads directly from your corporate website to your SFDC org or you can also manually enter the leads. You may get a call from the customer on your toll free number and you can manually enter the lead as well into your uh, marketing cloud. You may also have a situation wherein one of your sales reps have visited the customer and he or she feels that it is a potential lead. He can come back and enter that lead into the SFDC system as well. And further you can have assignment rules, auto response rules for these leads. So you can either manually assign these leads to the SFDC users or they can also be assigned to different queues or specialized agents which are capable of handling these set of leads. So let me show you one very important process which is called as the lead conversion. Now before that I'll just show you the different stages that a lead can go through. So if you see here in the lead status right now this lead is open. It has not been contacted. It is just lying as an open lead. So nobody has started working on it. Nobody has contacted the customer. The second stage can be working contacted which means that somebody has established the contact with the customer. It has been contacted but they have yet not qualified. Okay. If you feel that yes it is a potential lead it can be converted into an opportunity or a account or a contact. You can close converted and you also have the option to close not converted. If you feel that it was maybe just marketing inquiry or uh, the prospect was just trying to get some uh, price it's not a potential lead you can just drop it and these stages basically known as the lead management process. The various stages through which a lead goes through. So suppose I have established the contact with Miss Cotton in Abbott Insurance and I feel that it is a genuine lead. It is a potential lead. So I can say close converted and I can say save. And you have a convert option here. If you click on this what you have is leads can be converted to account contact opportunity and even follow up task. So what we are doing is a lead conversion process. You can also send an email to the lead owner if you want. Right. So what will happen is that it will create a new account by the name of Abbott insurance as soon as we will convert this lead. It will also create an opportunity for Abbott insurance and contact will also get created by the name of Miss Cotton. So in one go you will convert it into an account contact and opportunity and you also have the option to create a follow up task. Okay. You also have the option if you don't want to create a new opportunity upon conversion. So you can just check this checkbox otherwise just leave it unchecked. So I'm just going to convert this lead Miss Phyllis Cotton. So you can see a account by the name of Abbott insurance has got created automatically. Right a contact by the name of Phyllis Cotton who is the CFO for Abbott insurance and her credentials, her email ID, her phone number and an opportunity has also got created by the name of Abbott insurance. Mind you whenever you convert a lead and subsequently the opportunity gets created the default stage of that opportunity is always at prospecting stage and the close date is always the last date of the current quarter. So since we are in the JFM quarter January, February, March of 2013. So that's why it has picked up the last date which is the 31st of March 2017. But you can edit this. So let's look at the opportunity here. So this is the opportunity that has got created with some very basic information. So as and when the opportunity advances you can change the stage. You can uh, change the close date as well and the probability as well will get changed. Let's go back to the presentation. So the Salesforce Marketing Cloud it's a platform as I said for a one to one customer journey. So you have contact, you have content, you have channel, you have analytics, you have different apps. So let's look at the Salesforce Marketing Cloud product. So it essentially includes email studio, you have mobile studio, you have uh, social media, you have ads, web connected products, hub exchange apps and it basically makes use of the marketing automation, predictive intelligence can be built in, customer data platform, etc. etc. Okay, this is the mind map for the marketing cloud. So as you can see, the beginning are the activities. And in 
Salesforce, you can have four types of activities. So you can either have tasks, you can have events, you can have calls or emails. Right? So primarily activities, it includes tasks and events. Then you can also have calls and emails. These all form activities. Out of these activities, you get leads, right? So you may be doing some events, some sort of road shows, webinars, etc. So that is one of the medium through which you can get a lead. You may get a lead from an inbound call or outbound call or a customer may write in to your marketing team for a product or service for which they are interested in. Right. So these are the four building blocks of activities through which you can get a lead. Right. You can also get a lead from different campaigns that you may run online campaign, offline campaign. And as I showed you, the lead would typically get converted during the lead conversion process into an opportunity, a contact and an account. Right. So let's look at some of the features of the Salesforce marketing cloud. So marketing cloud is basically segregated into channels and platforms. So in channels, you get email studio, mobile studio, social studio, advertising studio and web studio. Platforms, you have journey builder, audience builder, personalization builder, content builder, analytics builder and marketing cloud connect. So let's look at some of the channels and their features. So if you look at uh, the email studio, what all you can do from the email studio, you can send welcome and promotional emails to your customers and you can also send some critical information like uh, bank statements, receipts, you can build and send mails. It provides a ready to use tool with drag and drop functionality to build emails. So if you need to send some reports and dashboards to your customers, so it provides a very easy to use tool which has got a drag and drop functionality and uh, depending upon the kind of report or the dashboard you want to share with your customers, you can do that with just point and click drag and drop feature. You can also use data from sources like uh, e-commerce portals, mobile push notifications, and you can also provide personalized real time messages to your customers. And you can also measure and optimize your campaign with advanced email analytics. So suppose you are trying to run a campaign and uh, you are not getting the desired results, right? The trend is not a healthy trend. So you can obviously change your strategy. You can do some changes and you can uh, optimize your campaign so as to get the desired results. And that you can achieve using the advanced email analytics which are provided as part of the email studio. Let's look at the mobile studio. So in the mobile studio, you can keep customers up to date with SMS confirmations. You can update them about the different promotions that you are running and you can also have real time account updates. You can engage your customers with photo tutorials and auto clips. So suppose you are updating some feature on your corporate website which was not there earlier which the customers have been demanding or they have been requesting. So you can always keep them engaged. You can send them some updated tutorials or audio clips saying that you have now updated this in the new feature in the new release so that they are always tuned to your channel. Geofence feature ensures your customers get the information at the right time and place. You can connect with your customers on their favorite messaging application by sending personalized announcements. So irrespective of the platform, you can connect with your customers on their favorite messaging application. You can send them some personalized announcements on that messaging platform itself. Yes, and the mobile studio, it is also accessible via the Salesforce app. So you get the mobile version of Salesforce, which is known as Salesforce one, right? You can download it from the Google Play Store onto your Android or your iOS smartphone. Right. If you are using a Android phone, then you can download it from the Google Play Store or if you are on the iOS platform, you can download it from the App Store and uh, you get mobile studio part of the Salesforce one, which is the mobile version of Salesforce. So let's look at the social studio. Social studio lets you manage all your advertising across the social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and LinkedIn. So you can do a lot of online advertising across the different social media platforms that you have today. 
So the social studio, it lets you manage all the advertising across the different social media platform like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, etc. Your teams can manage your campaigns with sophisticated targeting all in one elegant interface. So as I showed you, you can align campaign team members. So if you have 10 people in your team, so maybe you want to align say four people for a particular campaign, you can do that. And these members can then target some of the potential customers. If they have clicked or they have showed some interest, right? So you can always go after them and you can target them because they have showed some interest. You can visualize, optimize and report on advertising performance. You can also derive reports, dashboards. You can take your customer insights from Salesforce CRM to your social advertising. Let's look at the advertising studio. The advertising studio lets you manage all your advertising across Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and LinkedIn. So again, this is a feature which is common between social studio and advertising studio. So as in social studio also, you get to manage all your online advertising across the different social media platform. You can use insights on your loyal customers to connect with new ones. So basically those customers who have been loyal to your uh, different uh, customer programs, you can take their help and you can get some referrals from them in order to connect with some of the new potential customers for your business. You can reconnect with your customers using different channels and aggregate their data. You can build audiences through social topics and then track and optimize your campaign performance. So basically what you can do here is that you can have some discussions on uh, some of the social topics, right? And uh, you can then see the trends, right? There may be a lot of people who are vocal about a particular topic. So you can build your audiences in such way and then you can track and optimize your campaign performance. So suppose you have a topic trending on uh, Facebook, say India beats England in uh, all the three formats, right? So you will see a lot of posts, a lot of comments from people from all walks of life, right? So you will see that a lot of them are vocal. And these same people are, you know, posting again and again, and you will see a definite trend. So which clearly shows that these people are interested or they are having keen interest for this particular topic. And said tomorrow you are wanting to come out with some campaign wherein you need to target such category of people or such customers. So you can always run some campaign. So the advertising studio will help you do that. Last but not the least in channels, you have the web studio. It provides web solution to turn your static websites into dynamic interactive personalized experience. It has got the inbuilt predictive analytics capability. You can observe the customer behavior and build individual profiles. You can also trigger emails based on site behavior to re-engage with customers. So as I said, if someone has visited your corporate website and he has clicked on a particular category of product, right? Then you know that you know the behavior of this customer. So you can trigger emails based on the site behavior and you can re-engage this customer. That Okay, you had uh, showed some interest on uh, going overseas to a particular location, say Thailand. Okay, so tomorrow if you are coming out with a campaign or you want to target these sort of customers who had visited your website and they had showed some interest. So you know that they can be one of the potential customers because at some point of time in history, they have browsed or they have clicked on the Thailand tour using interactive and engaging tools. Guide your customers through the process of finding the necessary information. Okay, let's move on to the platforms. So in the journey builder, you can plan, personalize and optimize customer journeys at the right moment on the right channel. You can select targeted audience and create unique journeys based on their interaction. You can apply A-B testing to test the performance of different communications and channels. You can select goals and track progress in real time with activity metrics. So basically what it does is that suppose one of your customer is uh, experiencing a huge expansion due to the market uh, dynamics and he's on a massive expansion growth, right? And they are uh, expanding like anything and it happens across all industries. Some industry is at boom at some point of time, whereas the other is in a recession, right? So you can target these set of customers at the right moment with the right channel using the journey builder. So suppose you have a, telecom customer 
see a Reliance Geo who has just launched because they want to disrupt the telecom market, right? So that they want to gain massive market share within a very, very short amount of time. So you can target this set of customers at that moment, right? And A-B testing, it's basically also called as the split testing and uh, it is used to compare two versions of a web page to see which one performs better. Okay, so you may have uh, multiple versions for a single web page. So you can compare these two web pages by showing the two variants, let's call them A and B, to similar visitors at the same time. Okay, and the one that gives a better conversion rate wins. Right, so for the same web page, you can have two variants and you can uh, put it up to the similar visitors and the one which gives you better results, better conversion rates wins. So you can then discard the other one and you can keep the one which has generated better interest, better results. Right, and as I said, you can target the selected audience. You can create unique journeys based on their interaction. You can select goals, track progress in real time. Let's look at the audience builder. So in the audience builder, you tend to get to understand and engage with customers and unify all data in one place. Again, you can use the drag and drop feature to quickly correlate and manipulate data. So this is a very, very beautiful feature in Salesforce reporting and uh, dashboard. You can just uh, drag and drop if you want to get some meaningful insights into the data that is lying in the Salesforce data lake. So you can just uh, drag and drop using the reporting feature. You can then get some informative uh, reporting out of the reports. You can also create dashboards which can be useful in the presentation or uh, even otherwise to help you or your top management get some good insights into the health of the business so that they can take the informed decisions. You can combine customer data and predictive data to understand your most important customer segment. Right? As I said, it includes the predictive analysis as well. So you can use a combination of both customer data as well as the inbuilt predictive data analytics that is being provided by Salesforce as an out of the box functionality to help you understand the most important customer segment for your products and services. Right? Your product and services may not be attractive or may not find its way to all category of customers, but there will be some category of customers who will be the low lying fruits. So it can help you identify this particular segment, which are the low lying fruits for the products and services that you are into. You can drive personalized customer journeys that automatically adjust to customers level of engagement as well. Let's look at the personalization builder now. So the personalization builder, it provides the ability to deliver experiences unique to each customer by building customer profiles. From an anonymous visitor to a loyal brand champion, leverage sophisticated algorithms to understand your customer intent, turn static websites into dynamic experiences that deliver personalized content, extend across different digital channels using drag and drop tools. So basically what it does is it has built in machine learning algorithm, right, which is capable of doing big data analytics, right? So what you can do is, in the personalization builder, you can build custom profiles for the, each of your unique customers. So you can basically do a customer profiling, okay? Because you may be having all category of customers, all sorts of customers from an anonymous visitor who has just visited your site to a loyal brand champion who is actually acting as your brand ambassador without you knowing, right? So you can basically leverage on this loyal brand champion you can further penetrate into his internal network and his circle, right? By making use of the machine learning algorithms, right? Which will help you to understand the customer psyche, the customer intent. You can turn the static website content into dynamic ones, right? To deliver the personalized content. You can extend different digital channels using the drag and drop tools, even here in the personalization builder. Let's move on to the content builder. So in the content builder, it helps you to do cross channel content management. It allows you to consolidate on images, blocks of texts, templates and emails in a single location. So basically what it does is it basically offers you to do a cross channel content management. Right? You will have a lot of content across all the channels that we discussed, 
So what it does is it helps you to correlate, consolidate on all the images, text blocks, templates, emails in a single location. You can organize everything into a unified folder structure and leverage search and filter tools for easy navigation. So you can save all these images, text, templates, emails, etc. in a single place, which is called as a unified folder and you can leverage on these searches and filters. You can upload new content including images and other documents straight from your desktop. So if you want, you can also include some of the images and documents from your desktop itself. Although Salesforce is not known to be a good storage platform, but you can do that. You can save images, you can upload documents onto the Salesforce cloud so that it is accessible to you anywhere, anytime as it is location independent and it is always available to you on demand irrespective of wherever you are globally in any part of the world. You take less time to create and find the perfect content and more time putting it into action. So you basically get organized, you get structured data, you don't waste time to create the content. You already have the content and you just have to search and filter the right content, the perfect content for your campaign. Right? So you can actually devote more time putting the campaign into action rather than wasting your time in looking out for the right content. The content is already there. It is already put in place in the unified folder. So you just have to search filter and there you go. And let's move on to the analytics builder. You can view real time behavior on your website and mobile application and measure performance across the entire customer journey. So you may be having customers visiting your corporate website. You may have customers using the mobile app version of your corporate website. So if you want to run some data analytics, you want to measure their performance. You can do that using the analytics builder. You can use out of the box reporting for email, mobile, social and ads. So this is also known as Mac. Also build custom reports to meet your needs. You can create visualizations of data to uncover rich insights about customers. It uses predictive analytics, which is built in, provides you with the likelihood of a purchase and other insights about your customers. So as I said that you can create dashboards so that you get better visualization of the data that is there in the data lake of Salesforce to uncover rich insights about the customer behavior. What is their buying pattern? which product out of the entire product range that you offer they are more interested in or which product they are least interested in. So you can just remove it out of the shelf. It also has the inbuilt feature of running predictive analysis, right, which will help you to get access to know the likelihood of a purchase or not. So it basically helps you to get better insights about your customer behavior, his buying pattern, etc, etc. Okay. So there is a question, how will the analytics builder get insights from a particular website traffic? Or how will you link your website and the analytics builder? So basically you can integrate your marketing cloud with your corporate website. Okay. So we'll come to that in the coming slides. So by means of this integration, a lot of data can flow from your corporate website to the marketing cloud, which has the analytics builder. So then you can make this analytics filter to run on the data that is being ingested from the corporate website. You can ingest the data traffic that is coming onto your corporate website into the analytics filter, right? Only thing is you'll have to integrate the marketing cloud Salesforce with the corporate website. All right, let's move on to the marketing cloud connect. As I said, your marketing cloud with your Salesforce CRM, you can even integrate marketing cloud, Salesforce cloud, sales cloud or a service cloud instance. It thereby allows you sending email messages from sales, service or marketing cloud. So if you want to send some welcome email or some promotional emails, you can do that right from your sales, service or marketing cloud. You can create some workflows, workflow actions. You can send email alerts. You can set some entry criteria. So you would have noticed the moment you sign up for a particular account, immediately you get a welcome email. So that happens by virtue of the email alert, right? So you can also automate this using the sales service or the marketing cloud. You can measure customer engagement by tracking history of a profile. So you get many options in Salesforce. You can uh, track the history by enabling the various fields. 
you can track the changes that has happened in a particular field you can set up the audit trail advanced functionality provides the plumbing for data stream and journey builder so the advanced functionality that is offered as part of the marketing cloud so in case you need to do certain adjustments or certain changes for the data lake so you can do that by using the advanced functionality feature of the marketing cloud connect so let's see the different integration options which are available for the salesforce marketing cloud so you can integrate the marketing cloud with the salesforce service cloud as well as with the social media platforms like facebook twitter linkedin as well as shopify and workfront okay it is already integrated let's show you in the system in the free developer org let's go to the setup so if you look at this is our free developer org environment so if you look at the top right hand side right now we are in the marketing cloud right you can also move to the service cloud this is service cloud okay so you can see that you have the home chatter and then you have accounts contacts and then cases solutions so this essentially forms the service cloud you can also seamlessly move to the sales cloud you just have to select sales and here you go now you are in the sales cloud so salesforce has made it easy for us so they have integrated all these three clouds marketing cloud sales cloud service cloud as well as you can also integrate two different salesforce orgs you can also integrate with uh, the social media platforms like facebook twitter linkedin shopify workfront let's look at a use case for uh, peak games so peak games it's one of the household names in the mobile gaming industry which is one of the coming hot industry peak games had over 275 million users across 150 countries and these were some of the challenges that they were facing before using the marketing cloud so peak games they required a tool for running bulk campaigns for doing campaign management they also wanted to scale their social media advertising they wanted to make better use of tactics like cost per impression bidding ab testing and ad segmentation they required a powerful reporting tool peak games wanted to make use of all the latest capabilities of facebook advertising at the same time so these were some of the challenges that were being faced by the peak games and this was the solution which was offered for a solution to these issues peak games turned to marketing clouds advertising studio ads platform so peak games connected with the marketing cloud to deliver the right message to the right person at the right time so as i said few industries they are experiencing exponential growth at a particular point of time so at times the telecom industry is at boom sometimes the gaming industry is at boom at the same time there are industries which are going through regression so you can target those industries which are at the boom so you can deliver the right message to the right audience who are basically either the key decision makers or influencers of the business and at the right time right place using the marketing clouds advertising studio big games advertising team developed best practices for creative optimization on the facebook the big games team was able to look at its players holistically and optimize by certain events so it also helped them get insights into the online players so that they could optimize certain events they were able to iterate the process of ab testing for images to gain insights as to which one is effective as i said ab testing which is also known as a split testing is used to compare two versions of the same web page to see which one performs better so you compare two web pages by showing the same two variants say a and b to similar visitors at the same time and the one that will give better conversion rates better results wins and you can stick with that and you can discard the other so using the salesforce marketing cloud e games reduced their cost per engagement and identified the best audience e games were also able to compare the success of two separate images with regard to click through rate and cost per install so this they could achieve using the ab testing feature the ctr and the cpi click through rate and cost per install e games also found out that using 20% text allowance in image reduces the 
cost per install by 27%. So if you have got more text, if you have got around 20% text in an image, it reduces the cost that you are going to incur per install by 27%. And for mobile gaming, images showing a user interacting with a game doubled the CTR, which is click-through rate, and reduced the CPC, which is cost per click by 50%. So if you showed some images, some graphics, etc. of a user interacting with a particular game, so it made the visitor to click on these images, mobile games. So thereby it doubled the click through rate. And at the same time, it also reduced the cost per click, which is CPC by 50%. So they were able to get all this analytics using the different studios, different channels of the marketing cloud. Thank you so much guys. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.